Having recorded the guide tracks, it was time to add the beat. During the songwriting and pre-production process, I tried to push my boundaries to the limits. Something I always try to do when I sit down and get stuck into work. I've cut down a little on a variety of symbols and also used two toms instead of three, like I did before. I really wanted the sounds to appear more simple, but in fact, the beat being more detailed, if that makes any sense. Working with somebody like Alyosha is always a very enlightening and rewarding experience. Although he lets you express your creativity in every way, shape or form, I greatly value his personal opinion. The finer details one may not have thought of, which give the songs that extra bit of edge. We knew that time was not really on our side as the time schedule for the whole album recording process was fairly tight from the start. Therefore, we really prepared for the guitar and bass tracks, so we wouldn't lose precious time. practiced the songs every night back in the apartment and while Kevin was tracking the guitars I would often go out and practice my parts again. Kevin just has that amazing sense of rhythm, an absolute riff machine. His precision and speed are ridiculous considering he's never had a single guitar lesson in his life. In the studio the pressure was always on because we never wanted to let anybody down by taking too long to record a certain part or song. In the end, it turned out that we were one of the fastest recording bands Alyosha has ever had to record the full guitar tracks for the entire album. As I never played an instrument before, I didn't manage to record all the parts on the Never Back Down EP myself. This time around, I really put in all the effort to be able to record my parts without any help to make the album even more personal for myself. <laughs> <laughs> 